Welcome. In front of me is a Nokia G11 and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you put it up for the first time you should be presented with a welcoming screen as I am right now and for me it is in a different language so I'm going to quickly change it by tapping on the drop down menu and finding English. Selecting region and from there you can select let's go. This will start looking for a SIM card. If there is one inserted, it will detect it and you can go to the next page. Uh, now, obviously you can skip this step. It does not really matter too much uh, if you have your SIM card in or not. The only reason why it is here is because it's one of the ways you can connect to network, either through SIM card or Wi-Fi. And if you choose to skip both of them, uh, then date and time will not be set automatically. And additionally, a Google login page will not show up. Now, if you choose to connect to either one of them, uh, you will have your date and time set automatically and also you will have the option to log into your Google if you want to. Now, additionally, if you skip both of them and you finish up the setup, you can later on change those settings, uh, log into your Google account by going simply to the set through the settings, uh, logging into some kind of Wi-Fi or inserting your SIM card. And from there, go to accounts, add an account and you're done. Now, throughout the video, I will skip both of those, so Wi-Fi and uh, SIM card. There we go. Like I mentioned, we should see, oh no, I guess it's gonna be on the next page, the date and time. So before that, we have the Google services. So we have three different services, location, scanning, and sending user and agnostic data. So location, just GPS tracking, scanning, it allows the device to look for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals, and then send user and diagnostic data, allows Google to spy on you. Here we can set up some kind of screen lock to our device. So it automatically prompts us to set up a fingerprint and also will, before we can set up the fingerprint, it will tell us to also select a pin. Um, if you choose to skip this, it will then prompt you to, I believe, face unlock. So again, it will tell you to set up a pin first uh, or pattern or password, you can change them, but default is pin. Uh, before you can set up a uh, face recognition and if you skip this it just goes straight to uh, screen lock itself only and you can also skip this if you want to and have no protection if you want to actually i'm going to go back and set up a pattern right here so i'm going to go screen lock options pattern next redraw it and there we go so now i did set up a pattern continue set up continue stay up to date. So this is just some uh, trash from Nokia. If you want, you can provide them your email, but honestly, uh, I don't really like providing my email to anywhere, assuming I don't need to, uh, especially for services that I don't really give a crap about, like these ones. I'm gonna select no thanks. Uh, you are nearly ready to go. Let's go. And voila, setup is now complete. So there we go. If you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.